Hey, it's Harry from PB Tech. So students are heading back to school soon and maybe their schools and their parents need to again consider what Chromebook might meet the needs of their new curriculum. Chromebooks have emerged as a favorite in the race to provide school children with learning devices. This is because of their affordable price, ease of use, and build quality. Chromebooks run on Chrome OS, a no-thrills operating system where almost everything you need is built into the Chromebook itself. Cloud storage, Google products, and security and speed are all built-in features, streamlining the setup and management of multiple devices at once. Great for a classroom. On another note, it may be calming for you to hear that all of the Chromebooks that we're looking at today can withstand even the most enthusiastic of kids, in terms of durability that is, with drop and water resistance, reinforced corners and hinges, and anchored keys so they don't go walking about. We're hacking into the mainframe. Well hey there! If you're shopping for a Chromebook for yourself, or maybe for your kids, then why not check out PB Tech? Because we have the largest range in New Zealand at amazing low prices. So check it out at pbtech.co.nz or head into one of our stores like this one in Monaco and meet one of our friendly experts who will help you find the exact Chromebook for you. So back to the video. While researching our Chromebook top picks for this video, I realized just how hard it is for educators and parents to compare all of these models to find what suits their needs best, because the difference is quite minute and incremental. So we've divided our top pick Chromebooks into four different categories, ranging from the basic essentials all the way up to the premium features, such as touchscreens, pens, storage, and lastly, screen quality. So let's kick it off with the first category, the best classroom Chromebook. Great value devices that do the basics with none of those extra frills. And our winner for that top pick category is the Lenovo 100E AMD. Being the cheapest out of all of them, it's also the lightest, weighing in at only 130 grams, which is good for fitting in those kids' backpacks, making sure they're not being weighed down. It's resistant to water and it has these nice rubberized edges for bangs and bashes to make sure it can be protected. The only downside we could find with this device is actually on the screen, it has quite narrow viewing angles. And also that front-facing camera is average quality 720p. It's not really the resolution that's an issue, it's more just the um, detail that comes out of it. And our runner-up is the HP 11 G8. It is our most trending on our website of all the Chromebooks. It has an anti-glare screen, it has nice rubber edges, 122 centimeters drop resistant. I'm not gonna do it right now, but maybe we'll cut to some carnage of laptops and you can just take my word for it. It's marginally more expensive. It's missing a nice big rubber bar at the bottom that the Lenovo has. It's good for gripping it if you're carrying it around the classroom. This is the reason why it's second place just missing out on just one or two tiny features that the Lenovo had. Moving up the scale, next we have the second category, the best BYOD Chromebooks. These versatile devices are good for the classroom as well as at home, featuring touch screens. Now touch screens are great for those hands-on kids who all seem to be born with the gesture skills like swiping and pinching. I had to learn that, they just know it. But Chromebooks with touch screens are fully utilized thanks to their 360 degree hinges. Tent mode, tablet mode, and stand mode. The only problem with stand mode though is that there is a bit of screen jitter and wobble whenever you're using the touch screen, and I'm pretty sure that's universal in regards to this mode. So now you understand the distinction between our second category's premium features. The winner of that category was the C214. This is actually our most popular model on our website with 31 reviews coming in at 4.5 stars. My favorite feature on this thing is that it has a front facing camera. This one right here next to this keyboard. That's really good when it's in tablet mode. If they're like me and they're not fast at rewriting what the teacher's already written on the board, they can just simply take a photo and read those notes later. Or they can also use it for future proofing such as AR enabled apps. Now that's the kind of learning that I wanted. The keys are extra close to each other so that kids can't pick them out. In terms of specs, it's got double the amount of storage compared to the first category coming out at 64 gigabytes, which is is actually the most that Chromebooks usually go up to. It's also got a 12 hour long battery and it's got a hidden internal modular design which makes for easy repairs. However, the RAM is hardwired. It has Wi-Fi 5 as well, which is like six times faster than Wi-Fi 4. So there's a lot to say about this one and that's why it became our second category winner. 
and our runner-up for the best touchscreen Chromebooks is the Lenovo 300e. Now this one is the slight upgrade to the first model we looked at, the Lenovo 100e, but what's more important in here is its processor, which is about 20% faster than the C214. It is slightly cheaper and it does have a nice anti-glare screen. It does let itself down, however, with its only 10 hour battery life compared to a 12 hour battery life. Compared to the Asus, it's also slightly less drop resistant, has half as much storage and is only Wi-Fi 4, which as I mentioned is six times slower. So that's why it just fell into our runner-up position, but overall both of these devices are our top picks. Moving up the premium feature scale, we're onto our third category, and that's the best touch and pen Chromebooks devices, or styluses as they're otherwise known. Now these pens can offer students some diversity to interact with their tools with a couple of added benefits, such as more accuracy for navigations, drawings, and diagrams with pressure sensitivity too. You can also write notes and highlight things more accurately and uniquely express yourself using your own handwriting or calligraphy style. I wish I had developed one. Plus, there's also no hassle of having to clean off any grubby fingers using the touchscreen, and this will increase your students' overall hygiene, something we always overlook, but I guess you can put these in strange places or lose them, so that's probably the only downside, I would say, about these styluses. And our top pick for the Chromebook with the best touch and pen features is the Lenovo 500e. Now this one has the same body as the 300e, however it does have that pen housing, which doesn't require any charging or anything like that. Not only is it spill and drop resistant like the rest, but it does have a Gorilla Glass as well. And Lenovo has finally incorporated that front-facing camera, which is located just down here, so that when you are in tablet mode, you can get a nice five megapixel photos. The only thing I could fault this device with was probably the fact that its looks haven't got any sharper at its price point. But then again, if you were getting too familiar with the Lenovo cases, guess what? The runner-up is even more familiar since it is the C214 again, but this time with a pen. So this one is actually a different SKU on our website, one that comes with a pen. So it's about a $40 difference. But this one was such a good model with that extra storage and all the other features we mentioned that it definitely deserves that pen and touch runner-up position. Moving on to our fourth and final category, and that's the best premium Chromebooks. Now these are devices with many of the previously stated features, however they have upgrades on their components and more importantly their screens. So all of the previous models we've looked at only had 720p resolution at 11.6 inches in size, but the Asus C433 has a 1080p 14 inch screen, which dominates the rest. And actually for kids, probably looking at screens all day is gonna, ooh, is gonna put a lot less strain on their eyes. So health benefits of using computers, who knew? <laughs> I don't condone that. So this premium top pick not only has the sexiest exterior made out of metal and not this plastic, ugh, disgusting, but it also comes in a nice blue tint with some silver chromed out Asus logo. It has eight gigabytes of RAM, which is twice the amount of the aforementioned models, which lets you run more programs quicker, jumping between each of them. It may have the biggest screen, but it's also got the thinnest width at only 16.5 millimeters, which is even smaller than the other smaller screen models, which is great for kids with that limited backpack space. In addition to its space saving features, it's actually got a big enough screen that you'd expect to find it on a 14 inch model. However, this one has such a small bezel that they've managed to get the size of this laptop only down to 13 inches. On the deck down here, this is the first model that has some backlit keys and it's got a nice big wide touchpad with palm rejection features so that you can type away without accidentally tapping all over your screen. On the underside, we have two speakers, which despite its thin profile, actually utilizes the space inside the laptop well to give a nice sound. Now, something that's missing from this device is actually a stylus that we made such a fuss about in the last category. But I feel like Asus has made up for it in this case because with this device, you get a free 100 gigabytes of Google One storage, which means you can use that online to save all of your programs, such as all the Google apps without worrying about the limited hard drive space inside this device. And maybe if we're nitpicking right here, it does have some quite 
stiff hinges. Like transitioning from laptop mode into tablet mode is actually like quite hard for my man arms, let alone baby arms. Like this is, this is quite a workout. Ugh. I'm not gonna do that too much more, even though these are super durable. Anyway, moving on to the runner up in the best premium Chromebook devices, the Google Pixelbook. It is full Android app supported. It's got a brilliant display. It's got the best performance out of all of these devices and it uses an Intel i5 processor. It's super thin and it has a great stylus support. However, all of the negatives on this thing definitely held it back and that's the reason why it became our runner up. So it's got quite poor audio quality for its premium price. It has very big bezels on it compared to the Asus. It's too expensive for a device that isn't better as a laptop or as a tablet. It's kind of somewhere in between. Lastly, the biggest reason why it didn't take that top spot was because its pen is not included and it does cost $200 and charges with a quadruple A battery. Who has any of those things? You can't even get it in New Zealand anyway, but it still deserves an honorable mention as our premium Chromebook device pick. So these are our top picks for the start of 2021, ranging from the bare essentials up to the premium features. I hope we helped make your purchasing decisions a little easier. I know it could be quite confusing on all the specifications, but I think I pointed out all of the best highlights, pros and cons. So which one of these devices is the right one for you? Please let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or you need any tips. And I've been Harry from PB Tech. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell for all the latest on education and tech. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Boo. 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 I'll just take this one. Thank you. See ya.